I've made this video once before already. The things went wrong with my bike. Had to do a little bit of tiny repairs, nothing big. I think I still need to do something else to it. I feel like my front hub is kind of messed up. And uh, my chain might give out soon, but I have an extra chain, so that's fine. As long as there's a couple links. Um, I'm officially leaving the Zero Network area today. Finally. I love being out here during the rain. It rained a bit yesterday. I was skeptical of leaving. But I'm very confident that this ride is going to be not easy, but a lot easier than some people thought it would be. Some people were warning me like, my goodness, you better watch out, you're going to die. And other people are like, it's a cakewalk. And then some people say, well, yeah, there's always a place you can make it to at the end of the night. But there's zero electricity, zero network. And the next time you see me will be in Ley. I am almost to this town of Darcha, which is just one kilometer away from Jispa, or like two or three. And there's going to be a checkpoint up here. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> And I think, uh, yeah, after that, we're going to go up a gigantic hill. I think we'll be uh, going up about 3,000 feet. And for some people, that's when the altitude will kick in. By then, we'll, we will be at 14,000 feet. Right now, where I sit, I am at 11,000. So, let's see if I get sick from the altitude. On the bright side, there's always a lot of cyclists on this road, so I will never be alone in that regard, which is a good thing. And I just saw a guy go up over in that corner. And this town is Darcha. This is it, this is the last civilization. They have amazing 4G here, so I'm gonna upload this video, and then we will ascend this mountain in front of us. You can kind of see the road. It's insane. It's an insane road, it's one of the biggest climbs. You can't even see it. <laughs> so, I normally don't make breakdown videos of a ride and just show me riding, I think that's kind of boring. But, I may be doing something like that. I'm not gonna pull my phone and camera out often because there's very limited battery. But, I will like to document officially the places you can stop and how far you will be going. You know, I'm just gonna give a rough, rough estimate because it seems like nobody's known. Every answer is contradictory. But I'm very confident it's gonna be safe, fun, and easy. Most importantly, fun. Okay? You guys? All right. Let's get the darts and get through the checkpoint and that will be the last video. Peace. There's the bridge. And the tiny little yellow thing is the checkpoint. I know because I've been to Darcha already. That little tiny hut. And you can see the zigzags of the road. It goes up around that one and then it keeps ascending way up more. So this is it. <laughs> I find many cyclists on the road and we made it to Darcha together here in the morning and uh, the cops here, they blocked the way because uh, they want an RHCTP, whatever it's called. It's the coronavirus uh, test. So I think that's what they're going to try and understand going on here. They stopped us. They made us pull over. We almost snuck in. We almost snuck in here. Okay, okay. How much time is it? If you ask me, I'm getting really sick of this uh, coronavirus fascist bullshit. And, uh... I can't, we're not free to travel anymore. I gotta give him my passport before he can check it, so. No, 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 Sorry. Yeah, don't get the, sorry, this is my, this is my purse, as they say. Your name? It's on my passport. John. John. Vietnam. Vietnam. Me check it out again. Yeah, do that.
Huh? 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 Started in uh, Gypsa, which is Jispa, which is just down the road. Hung out with my buddies. One too many days. They're great, but uh, I had to finally hit the road. One of the biggest things was, other than they're cool hanging out with them, so many people were like, bro, it's crazy out that direction. After you leave this town, Darcha, it is completely uh, on your own. And you know, I had people on Facebook telling me like it's insane, there's animals and there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing. The only thing that there's not is cell phone signal and electricity. But uh, apparently, every day you can make it to a place like this. So that, that eases my mind a little bit. It won't have electricity, so I won't be charging my phones as much. But uh, you don't even need the camp. It has beds inside like this. So how convenient is that? It's like one or 200 rupees, $3 max. And uh, I wanted to do this on a budget. But I probably will be taking advantage of these facilities at some point. And the thing is, it is really cheap. So to think you can't make it to one of these every night, it's kind of crazy. Because I met these really amazing people who gave me an entire breakdown. They really did their research. And they show me how many kilometers are to next accommodation, the next sleeping place, if they have hot food or not. So I think it's going to be really easy. Other people think it's going to be really hard. So we will see. And as far as the uh, coronavirus fascism, I understand it is what it is. I'm just complaining about it. Who's not tired of it? I'll shut up now. But okay, I finished my uh, chai here and I'm hitting the road officially. Goodbye.